Jamestown. Go straight. Hey, Kayla. Hi, Dad. What's the name of the ship you're on? You're on the Susan Constant. Uh -huh. This is our recreation of the largest of the three ships that came in 1607. Just fly around my head. So tell me where we're going. We're going to, we're going to where? Virginia. Where, uh, where Pocahontas lived. Jamestown. Jamestown, yes. We'll ask these same questions uh, when we come out, okay? So oh. see what we learn. Tell me how mommy is holding the uh, tripod with her feet. <laughs> she just said it. Like a monkey. Like a monkey. <laughs> um. What year was the Jamestown settlement established? Okay, next question is, what country sanctioned the exploration to come and settle in Jamestown? Do you know the name of the company that was behind the expedition? Who did Pocahontas marry? What was the name of the tribe that Pocahontas came from? And Casey, yes. who's your favorite character in all the Pocahontas movies? The raccoon. raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> James Town, go straight. And this is the countryside and swamp-like tributary here to the river. It makes the Jamestown an island, kind of an island over there. I'd like to have to cross through that. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no bridge I'd back then? I'd rather much have air conditioning in the car as we drive. <laughs> so you're happy, happy with the modern day? Yeah. Like, no, what's that thing called? That statue. I don't know. What is that? That's an obelisk. 1907 to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the settlement here. Wow, look at this. So cool, I got archaeology going on everywhere, discovering new things, new depths. Oh, we're in Oh, join the adventure. June 2nd, 1608, Captain John Smith and his 15 member crew launched a small open boat from Jamestown Island and went all the way up. The river. How do you say uh, dog poop in Korean? Because there's a lot over there. Ketong. 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 Dong is dong. Yeah, and then ke is dog. dog. But I thought ke was a swear word. Uh, when it's used with uh, seki, which means, you know, little is baby it? ones. Like this fly around my head. Uh. It's because you smell so good. No, I probably smell bad then. If Trying to count for two Let's go swim. Not in there. Not in there. In the swimming pool with slides, you know? At our RV park. <laughs> really cool old ruins from old brick buildings. Okay. 
Casey's freaking out over there. <laughs> All right, so what's the worst part of this whole trip? Flies. The flies everywhere. Oh my gosh. And stepping in geese poop. <laughs> I was stepping in geese Besides that, poop. is it really cool over here or what? Isn't it nice? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, let's do a spin around and see the church in the background. See the church in the background? The fly in my head. <laughs> After seeing the original spot where Jamestown was founded, it was time to move on to the recreation and living village where we could see the village and the ships they came in on. A recreation of a Powhatan Indian village. Can you want to look around? Want to look around? Oh, this is cool. In, in case it breaks. Mmm, I have more ready. Oh, well, that's an actual animal. Cat? Yes, I agree. The Indians are still alive. Yes, they are. Of course they are. Maybe you can recognize this one. This one? Or a raccoon? This is a raccoon, right? Mm. Uh, and then we've got this one right here. It's a bit harder to recognize because it's missing its signature tail. A fox? Mongoose? A beaver. A beaver. Oh. oh, the signature tail. Yeah. So it is currently missing its tail. And then this one's probably the hardest. A squirrel? A squirrel? This is too big for a squirrel. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> what's it called? What's it called? Uh, and gopher? No, not a gopher. Meerkat? What's it? Not otter. Like a Maybe an it's, otter? It's a, it's a marsupial. And it's a long skinny tail and plays dead on the side of the room. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so these animals are things that the Powhatan are going to be trading to the English. They don't even have a name for it. The word raccoon and the word possum, that comes from the Powhatan language. Like originally it was oh, wow. arachoon and opossum. Oh, wow. And we still use those words today. Cool. Now, we also make hinges like the one here. We're building this. Uh, this one Look, this is how they make canoes. <laughs> they, they made it without carving it, they burned it inside? Probably a little of both. How you doing? What does it smell like? It smells like burnt wood. S'mores. S'mores. <laughs> s'mores. Hey, look, there's the fort behind you. Okay, we gotta go down this way first. To the port. Yeah, check this out. Mom and Casey are missing out. <laughs> this is cool. Go tell me what kind of ship this is. Susan Costa was the flagship and the and largest of the three ships that brought the first permanent English settlers to America in 1607. Yes, remember the guide was talking about there was three ships and the Susan Constant is the one that all the gentlemen got together on when they opened the box to find out who's going to be the, they discovered seven councilmen for Jamestown. And who, who was one of them? John Smith. And he became the governor of Jamestown here after a while, right? Even after they wanted to execute him, but they couldn't yeah. because the... He, he spoke rudely to a gentleman and therefore it was called mutiny. So they put him in chains below and they didn't even know that he was actually supposed to be part of the council. Well, thank goodness for freedom of speech here, huh? Oh look, there's two more ships. Yeah. There's three of them. That's the largest of the three, Dad. <laughs> okay, what are the names of the other two over here? It's well, a That's the type of... This is really little to make it all the way across the ocean like that. Wow. Hey, this, 
Somebody working on top up there. <laughs> How you doing up there? We're supposed to say ahoy, maybe, or something. Yeah, I didn't even see that person. <laughs> I scared me. I was like, what? Wow, these are cool. And this one is Godspeed. Godspeed? Godspeed. Oh, it's a typical small merchant trader. Oh. Ah. These are really quite small. And all of these had to sail for 144 days, which is kind of amazing. Nowadays, they can just hop on a plane. Well, considering how hours. considering how small they are, making it all the way across the ocean, that's pretty amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I think you have to ask permission to board. Oh, go on. That's normal protocol. Appears to be two of them. We're going next. We're gonna go on the biggest ship ever. Well, not ever. That was the Titanic. Or was it? I don't know. Anyway, the biggest ship out of the three. <laughs> hey, Kayla. Hi, Dad. What's the name of the ship you're on up there? The Susan Constant? The first ship we looked at? I remember it's the Godspeed, Discovery, and then the Susan Constant. Yeah. So are you in the captain's quarters? Yeah. Captain's quarters and official officers. For Captain Kayla, right? Tell me where I am. <laughs> so you're on the Susan Constant. Uh -huh. This is our recreation of the largest of the three ships that came in 1607, carrying 71 men on board and about 120 tons of cargo. This is the gentleman's ship, right? Um, actually, we don't know. Oh. Um, and that's because the only three people that we know for sure which ship they're on uh -huh. are the captains of the three ships. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. Now, we do know that there are about 54 passengers on board, which is a little bit over half of the people coming to Virginia on that first trip. Okay. But we don't know who they are on this particular ship. Interesting, okay. Um, so it could be mostly gentlemen, could be a, a mix. Um, how they're deciding could be social status, could be lottery, could be first come first serve. We just don't know. And here's our kitchen. The cook sleeps there, cooks all the food here, feeds all the hungry natives right here. All right, here we are in the captain's quarters of the Susan's Constant. We're actually, they slept in the window edges here, like okay. closets. Ah. And then the captain slept in the back, and this is their table for the statesman. How cool. This is the captain's quarters. And this is really small, just to give you an idea. If I stand up in here, my head hits the ceiling. And here's his armor. How low these doors are. And I step through the captain's door on the other side bashed my head like I hadn't been bashed in a long time. Let's go take a look inside here. All right, so this is where the crew would sleep. Look at these little beds. So the average height of a man back then was five foot seven. And that's how they could fit in here with all the smelly rope. We can see our other ships over there. Here we are down below. Here's the rudder system. That is controlled from the captain's office. And we got some cannons right below. That'll wake you up in the middle of the night if you start firing. And this is where the passengers had to find a place to sleep. As I understand, usually on some straw mat on top of cardboard for 144 days as they made their way across. 
Whoa, look at these cannons. How oh, cool. Fort James, or James Fort. Fort James. James Fort. <laughs> now they're gonna have an artillery demonstration apparently. At 415. When? 415. What are they gonna do? They're gonna shoot the cannon. Boom! Or something like that. Look at the big barn over there too. That's where I would sleep. Well, let's go check out the artillery show inside the fort. Oh, well, I almost tripped. Watch this stuff. <laughs> Whoa, cool. It's like a mini town, oh. Daddy. It is. It's a total recreation of that James Town. Like, you know, in Beauty and the Beast, where Belle comes out, there goes the Kraken. Or no, there goes the. <laughs> <laughs> no. We got that on video. Was... <laughs> so, what happened to the Kraken? They rewrote the lyrics on TikTok and Instagram. And so, it's, now when I sing Belle, it's like, there goes that Kraken when I see you each morning. It's funny, but that's not the actual lyrics. Okay. Um, but that's the house that Belle looks like when it comes out. I don't know. Oh. Maybe Snow White has three doors. <laughs> Why are the doors, the door frame so short? The average size of a man back then was five foot seven. Not six foot one I like your dad. I know, you were you would have been a monstrous woman back then. <laughs> Ooh. Here's proper quarters for a captain or a gentleman. For those days in that technology. So I'm guessing this is uh, where soldiers slept. This is the bedroom. Another bedroom? Mm. Oh, wow. It's a room, Daddy. It's a little room. I feel like Remember? <laughs> you take a ride. <laughs> hey, uh. Whoosh. No, I don't want to bring it. Remember what I was talking about about the big fireplace? See, they make big fireplaces so they cook in them. It's the princess's room? I like the princess. The beds are kind of small, aren't they? Thanks for coming with me. Of Mom and Casey are missing out. Don't tell Casey. Fire melts and it goes all the way down to the bottom. And you keep adding a spoon of this and a spoon of that. And a teaspoon and whatever. And you keep boiling them down. And Smith writes that it was a trial of iron, which was our best commodity, with which we made little chisels. Good quality iron ore. The fuel for the foundries is charcoal. And so back in England, you can't afford to cut a whole forest down to burn it up to make charcoal to find out that the iron ore you started with was bad iron. You don't have any expectation oh, okay. of getting your musket ball back. So we're going to be showing you how the rail gun works if you were to be using these uh, nautical terminology. If you're a soldier, you're going to call this kind of gun a murderer. To fire a muzzle loading gun, you need a crew of about seven men. And you need about one to two minutes to load and fire. <coughs> this gun is significantly quicker to fire. Now, this Hello, what are you doing? Is called and there is room for six ounces of gunpowder in this. No more. Tobacco, there's the guy who's paying attention. Handle the chamber! Advance the chamber! Ooh. Charge the 
Advertising dice too. Yeah. <laughs> Loud too, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was cupping my ears and it still like was super ringing, right? Yeah. Uh, and they have two different kinds of um, shot that comes out of there. Did you see the difference between the two? Do you remember? Uh, like the just the regular ball and uh -huh. then the one that has, has a whole bunch of yeah. like BBs like in there in, almost but big. In, yeah, in a, yeah, in a cylinder. Yes. Yeah. Cool, right? Different one, uses. One is for like the huge mechanical stuff that uh -huh. to take out their weaponry, uh -huh. and then the second one was to take out the people. Right. On your head. Yeah. How long have you been walking now? Can we look down the back there? About Three minutes. Almost a hundred yards now. And you still have it on your head. Yeah. What happens if I tickle you? Please don't. <laughs> Good job. Keep it going. I'm not going to tickle you. I hope this helps with like balance. Uh, or do I well, have good balance on it? At etiquette schools, they used to make you walk with books on your head so you walk smoothly. And not like a gangpe, like your mom, you know? Yeah, but I still <laughs> walk like that and it's not falling off of my head. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Alright, let's go find mom. Do you want to go through the guide? I'm putting it back on. Mr. Tessie can do it. Where are we here? This is like a tiny recreation of... Of England? Or is it of, of Jamestown after it grew up? And you still have that on your head. <laughs> Uh, that's that's mommy and I's bed. And you see your little crib next to us? And my sword is on the desk. For a second, I was like, is that an iPad? Show me where is the iPad. That rusty thing? I thought it was an iPad because of the logo. <laughs> <laughs> like a half an hour. I hey Kayla, what you doing? I'm still doing the bottle thing, but because you drank it though, it's becoming harder. Because it's too light? Yeah. <laughs> but it's still... Uh-oh, you almost lost it? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's still a feat because I did it for 30 minutes before I dropped it and drank it more. <laughs> you got a rock in your shoe, daddy? Yeah. Well, don't forget to walk with purpose then. Why? I got the key to the truck. Mommy's just gonna get over there. Be mad about the flies and have to wait for us. So we're saying all kinds of bad things in Korean. <laughs> Stuff you shouldn't hear. Really? <laughs> then we should probably go save Casey, huh? Yeah, let's go.